Hi, this is Charlie Page, and I want to share with you three steps to lasting success. You know, I believe all people want similar things. We want to be happy. We want to be healthy. We want to be loved, and we want to love other people. And we want a reasonable amount of money. Some even want an unreasonable amount of money, and that's okay, too. So how do you get all of that, and how do you keep it once you have it? You know, a lot of people achieve short-term success, but they can't make it last. What I'm talking about is lasting success. Success that lasts for a long period of time across a spectrum of topics, not just money. Zig Ziglar said this. He said, to win in life, you have to plan to win. You have to prepare to win. And only then, then and only then, can you reasonably expect to win. And I believe that's true. So let me ask you this. Are you planning and preparing before expecting to succeed? There is so much emphasis today on instant accomplishment, on getting rich quickly. I even saw a promotion for people to become an instant expert. That sounds good until you think it through. For example, would you want an instant expert, somebody who had learned everything they needed to know in six days or six weeks to operate on you or to babysit your kids? To run your business for a week? I don't think so. I know I wouldn't. Malcolm Gladwell is right in the tipping point. He, it takes time. So how can you plan and prepare so that you can actually expect and not just hope for success? Let me share three examples. Number one, for bloggers. Planning and preparing means choosing the categories and content carefully. Your content all needs to be contained in categories so that people who come to your blog can find what they need. Will your site be a mile wide and an inch deep or will it be seen as having expert status because you focus on only a few topics? The more you plan your content, the more you can expect to succeed at content marketing. Number two, for affiliate marketers. What does planning and preparing look like for you if you're an affiliate marketer? Well, it looks like using the product before you promote the product. So many people just go to ClickBank, find a high gravity product, grab their link and run an ad. That's okay, but how's that working so far? Usually it doesn't work too well. Using the product before you promote gives you a basis of knowledge and authority that is very, very important. Creating your own marketing assets so that you stand out is always also important. You want those ads to be yours, not the ones you swipe from someone else. Creating custom bonuses for buyers. Very important. It gives you uniqueness. It gives you a very solid standing in the marketplace. Asking the people on your list what they need is one way to plan and to prepare. And then finding the best product to offer and offering products that fit the whole person and not just one aspect of what they need. Number three, for product owners. Planning and preparing means understanding the customer journey, asking questions to under uncover needs, providing excellent support, asking customers what they need, not just selling what you want to sell, so that you can create products that you know will be well received. Working with affiliates and joint venture partners to reach new audiences, Having a cold traffic system that moves people naturally into buying from you instead of going for the clothes on the first visit. Now, I don't promise to have all the answers, but I can tell you this based on my 40 years of selling experience and my 16 years of making a full-time living online. The more you plan and prepare, the more reasonable it is to actually expect to succeed. Not hope or guess, but expect. Based on facts based on your effort, eventually based on your experience. And that is a beautiful thing indeed. If you like this, you can get much more at charliepage.com. And I hope you visit me there. I hope you share this video. But more than anything, I hope this video helped you today. I appreciate your time. This is Charlie Page, and I hope you have a great day.